Hey gang, Tony here. Happy Friday the 13th. Had to make a video, obviously. I mean, it's Friday the 13th. You know what that means. That means a little bit of Jason Voorhees action. Get a few marathons in there. But also, what it means for you guys is that you can join in during the Friday the 13th Geeky Riders uh, gathering that we're doing tonight. It's a live Google Hangout that myself, Mercedes Yardley, Todd Kiesling, and Eric Pruitt all do together. So it's a little live Google Hangout that we've been doing for the past maybe year or so. Every once in a while we get together and do a little broadcast. We talk, we answer questions, so uh, I'll leave the event link below. You could join us. It's starting at 8 p.m. Eastern tonight, Friday the 13th. And we're going to talk about all sorts of stuff. Whatever you guys ask us questions about, we'll answer those. We're going to have a couple of giveaways. I'll be giving away a mystery box from a brand new horror site, a uh, new brand new horror subscription box called Horror Horror Dervs. It's hard to say, kind of. It's like hors d'oeuvres, but horror d'oeuvres. So I want you guys to check that out. The box did not arrive here yet, but I am going to do the giveaway for it. And uh, yeah, when I do get it, I'll send it back out to whoever wins. And Mercedes is doing like special uh, haunted Valentine's things that she's going to give away. And there's going to be some ebooks and, and print books maybe that will be given away. So very cool. You'll definitely want to check that out. And uh, it'll give you a break from the Friday the 13th marathoning that you're most certainly doing. Right? Right. Also, I just posted a video that is quite frankly hilarious and I just want to make sure everyone sees it because I thought it was really well done. Uh, basically a couple of my friends uh, Sam and Stephen Mullaney Westwood. Stephen Mullaney Westwood of course is the author of Unforgotten Tales and uh, you should definitely check out his work, check out his website. I have links in this other video that I'm going to point you to. But they took my previous unboxing video and re-edited it into like a minute and a half of kind of like innuendo and it's just it's really funny it cracked me up so much like they they just sent it to me as a as a laugh and I I loved it so much that I posted it right away it is really good so check that out and finally I have a Fright Rags shirt as if I needed more horror shirts but there was a recent I believe this was Midnight Madness shirt I'm pretty sure they do this thing on Fridays uh, and in fact I believe they're doing one today that you could go check out. Uh, Fright Rags, Midnight Madness. For 24 hours they have a shirt for sale that then will I guess not be uh, sold after that. And last time they did that, although I've been kinda holding off and not buying a whole lot of shirts because I first of all don't really need them but second of all don't have the money for them. This shirt was kinda hard to pass up and um, I, I just I couldn't not buy it so I did buy it and I'll show you guys what that is right now just double check and they always send little extras in these fright rags so here's the shirt and oh it is glorious and you you might understand why in a second is this I don't know all right but look, check it out I mean I mean right Oh my god. Oh. It's so beautiful. And as you can see here, there are a bunch of different iterations of Freddy on there, which is one of the reasons why I love it, because it gets a bunch of different iterations. But more specifically, we've got Baby Freddy in there. And as you guys know, I am working on my own little Baby Freddy sculpture right now. So that just seems like uh, serendipity, like kismet. And I, I felt like I needed to get it. Oh my god, I didn't even see this part on the picture. Look, the tongue comes down and turns into another Freddy right here. And they got the Jason earrings, the Jason mask earrings on the, on the girl. Oh, I loves it. It's the most special thing in the world. And I love this green color that they have to the, to the blades and kind of matching with his shirt back there. Such a nice one. Oh. Really love this. Look at look at the label there. Freddy's coming for you. Oh, 
awesome. I, I will just, even when I'm not wearing this shirt, I will just kind of... I love it. It will be my new, my new binky. I'll, I'm gonna put a pillow in it and use it as a pillowcase as well. Because, because I'm weird. Okay, so lastly, they have the little prize pack and I would be remiss not to show you what comes in the little prize pack. So let's rip into that really quick and see what we got. I have quite a few of their little cards and stickers. There's always a piece of candy where we got a little sour warhead thing and then a couple of cards, a card and a sticker, I think usually, right? So the card we have is first they greet you and then they eat you. There you go. And on the back, Fright Film Facts. The film was originally intended to be a sequel to Herschel Gordon Lewis from Blood Feast, a uh, film Blood Feast, but before production started, it was decided that Blood Diner would be a standalone horror comedy. Blood Diner, 1987. Pretty cool. I don't have this one, so that's nice. I, I was getting doubles for a little while there of the cards. I have like a creep show one a number of times. And, oh. What? What? I missed out on this shirt. I kind of wish I got it now. I There were like two chances to get it and I didn't buy it both times because I couldn't afford it. But I have this sticker. Oh, that's awesome. I forget how the exact quote and the name of the shirt. I think the uh, damn, damn fine cup of coffee, if I'm not mistaken, Twin Peaks. Oh my God. I'm going to stick it on my face and never take a shower again. And just, eh. Okay guys, happy Friday the 13th. Join us for the live Google Hangout, awkward conversation with Geeky Riders, and I will see you very soon. Breathe deep of the night.